Hello everyone, it's Connor Addison for another Sterling Shift tutorial and today we are going to be figuring out and learning how to make a carbon fiber texture like such as like the one you see on your screen here and so let's get started here I have a uh, model that I made ju just a robot head and I have a lot of most of the materials already set up but I and need to do I'm going to make a carbon fiber texture here for the head. So I'm gonna name this carbon fiber. And now I'll get now we can get started on actually making the material. I'm trying to keep the time of this tutorial down because last time I did a tutorial it ended up I j I've basically I've tried making this tutorial a couple times before and each time I've made it, it's been about 15 minutes long. So anyways, I'm going to go and uh, unwrap the head here. So we're going to go. For simplicity's sake, uh -huh. Let's see, what's the best way to do this? Okay, there. So we have uh, we have the unwrapped head right here. And we are going to start by opening our carbon fiber texture. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to use this texture. It's tileable. For most things, I tend to use this texture because it has better color in my opinion, but I'm going to use this because it's tileable and it will be available to download for download in the links in the description. So here in the node I'm going to add a vector uh, mapping no excuse me I'm going to add a input texture coordinate and a texture image texture to get this started. I'm going to select my carbon fiber tileable texture and start connecting these these uh, nodes so I can see the result here. And I'm going to change this to textured view so I can kind of see what's going on. Now as I scale this up, the scale of the carbon fiber texture goes down, and as I scale the head down, the scale of the carbon fiber texture goes up. So I'm just going to scale it to, let's say, there, I think looks nice. And now that we have the UV map set up, we can go and close that and go into our render view here so we can get a better idea of what's going on in the in the actual render. Okay, I'm going to wait for this to finish building BBH and we'll cut back to it when it's done. Okay, here we are and we're back and so let's get started on making the material. Uh, one thing that we need to do because as you can see this texture is somewhat dark, we're going to add an in, we're going to add a color gamma node and connect this here and just bring the gamma to say 0.7 or maybe 0 0.6 0 0.6 will do um, I want to space this out so we can start start adding the other nodes that we need and so for the moment I'm just going to disconnect this. Now I'm going to add a, a shader, glossy shader, and I will then duplicate that uh, just once and bring that down here. 
Uh, so we want a kind of a color, sh and oh, excuse me, we need to add two mixed shaders as well. So one here, and one here. And let's just connect it up, just so we'll be able to see what we're doing. My mouse does not seem to be cooperating right now. Um, okay, so here we go. Um, there. To get this going more, we are going to add a color shift on this glossy shader. So we're going to add a color mix node, connect this in here, except when I'm and I'm going to change this color to I'm going to bring the brightness on this color up I'm going to change it to a kind of yellowish green just kind of off-white yellowish green because a lot of carbon fiber seems to have that tint and I'll set this down to point 1 so we still get most of the carbon fiber texture I'm going to bring the roughness up to point 4 and let me just just bring that directly in there so we see kind of more of what we are currently working with. Um, for this, I'm going to set the factor to point, point 0.7. So it's mostly the, the diffuse texture. And right now we're also going to set up our displacement. So I'm going to add a brightness contrast node up here route that color into there and this color into the displacement and you can see that that's giving us bumps on the surface of our thing but the bumps are very pronounced so to make them less pronounced I'm going to go to the bright now, brightness and set it to negative 0 0.05 and that just makes the bumps a little less pronounced and so moving on from that we are going to duplicate this brightness, uh, excuse me. Okay, so we're going to duplicate this brightness contrast node and bring it down to here. And we're going to set the brightness to 0.2. Take this color input and plug it into there. And take this color input and plug it into the roughness input of this, of this glossy shader. And we're going to add an input of uh, layer weight, set the blend to 0.6, and bring the facing into the contrast. Now we're going to plug this black back into here so we can see again more of what we're doing. And you can see that it adds those glossy highlights that really sell it as a shiny material. I'm just going to kind of Mm. give it a very subtle off-white texture or off-white color because carbon fiber uh, really has more of a greenish gold color and okay so we're we're almost done with this texture with this material all that's left to do is we need to add an input Fresnel and set it to 1.3 I believe it looks best and bring the factor into here but we want to have a little more control over this factor we need to bring it down a little bit so what I'm going to do is add an input value which is right here set it to 0 0.05 and then I'm going to add a converter math node keep, leave it on add add both of these values together and then duplicate that node change it to divide which is right there and divide this value by 2 to essentially average out those two values and then just plug this into the factor node 
and there you go. You have a carbon fiber texture that was pretty easily set up. And if you can change the value of, you can change this value to have more control over how much of the glossiness you want to have. So, you know, I might set it to 0.25, might look better. And I'll bring it down like that. So, all I did, I changed this value to 0.25 and this value to 0.6. So, there you go. You have a carbon fiber texture that was set up rather easily. Uh, I will have the texture, the image texture, available for download on PhotoBucket. The link will be in the description. And I will have a blend file with the carbon fiber texture available on BlendSwap, also in the description. This robot head is going to be featured in one of my next videos. It's currently rendering, but I'll post it on YouTube as soon as it's done. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.